I tried the Luke Belmar routine for 30 days to find out what it truly means to live like a crypto millionaire. The results that came from this routine impressed me so much that I wanted to share it with all of you. This routine was by no means a walk in the park. It required dedication, good habits, and lots of effort, but the rewards were exponential in transforming my view of the world. Stick around to the end of the video. I promise I have some truly life-changing realizations that I think you would benefit from hearing. It's not currently just where you are, but you need to have a plan as to where you're going. And most of your plans should come from understanding that there's a list of ingredients and formulas that other people leave clues to success, many that are written down, that you need to build off of. I'm sure most of you can relate. You have this feeling inside of you that whispers that you can do more and be more. And that's exactly what Luke Belmar embodies. Following his trail, I came to realize some of the key daily habits that Luke uses on a consistent basis to level up his character. So I decided to do the same and document my results with all of you. Welcome to my 30 days of the Luke Belmar routine. Before we get into things, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Mark and I've been a video creator and entrepreneur from an early age, but I really started to pursue things once I dropped out of university a few years back. My goal with this channel is to make videos that my younger self would be absolutely inspired by. End of the backstory, let's get back into the video. So what does the Luke Belmar routine consist of? For the last couple of months, I have been picking up on key habits that Luke pushes towards his audience through his podcasts, vlogs, data sets, articles, and tweets. The morning routine consists of a 15 minute walk with no phone, 15 minutes of stretching, 15 minutes of sun tanning, and eight ounces of spring water with chlorophyll, salt, and lime. After that, it's 100 pages of reading. So I, I'd like to read a book every three days, a book every four days. So oh, if you think about 100 pages, you read a page every minute, spend two hours. Followed up by one hour of working out and focusing on health. If you go to the gym and you exercise every single day and you eat extremely healthy and clean, you understand that you will develop a certain physique. You know that if you do this, this result is guaranteed. What it looks like, what your physique looks like, how many abs actually show, all that is the output. You can't control it. My own physical exercise consists of CrossFit and runs, so that's what I'll be sticking to. As for my reading, I have plenty of books that I've bought over the years, but I've just never gave myself the chance to sit down and actually read them. So I'll be pulling those out and it'll be a perfect time to read them. Additionally, I'll have no access to social media, no video games, and no other forms of cheap dopamine. I don't give myself access to these things anyways, but I thought I would add it in just to make things super clear. Last but not least, my eating schedule is intermittent fasting with a window from 12 to eight and access to a water filter, so no tap water. Now that we have this out of the way, let's get into how my first week went on the Luke Belmar routine. Day one felt exciting. My body was confused with the new routine as it went through the first part of the morning, but I started it off with a 15 minute walk with no phone. About to head on the walk. I was literally about to grab sunglasses and then I realized the whole point is to get sunlight in your eyes. So here we go, first 15 minute walk. After that, I cracked open the Aquapana and made the chlorophyll drink for the first time. It definitely, definitely surprised me with how good it tasted. This literally looks like something out of Star Wars. Straight into that, I hopped into stretching and then sunbathing, kind, kind of, there, there was no sun. The book I started off with was The Lords of Easy Money, recommended by the man himself in one of his vlogs. I had assumed going into this that reading 100 pages would take me about an hour, maybe two max, but I ended up reading for over three hours on the first day. Oh, so, day one of reading is done. So I read about 111 pages today. I didn't expect to be reading for this long. I read for three hours. Super fascinating so far. It really allowed me to get really deep in the book and just start understanding a lot of concepts and not, not break the train of thought. 
because I'll read three to four pages and then I won't read for an, for another couple days. So I really don't even understand what the book's about unless it's something that's kind of a little easier to understand. But this one about the financial system, quantitative easing, the Federal Reserve, how they're printing money, just monetary policy and all these things, it's, it's kind of complex. So it was really nice to sit down and just actually understand what was being talked about and what the story was. Tomorrow is gonna be another 100 pages and after that, I think in the next two days, I'm gonna be able to finish that book, which is so cool. So once I was done, I realized that I was pretty far into my day and I didn't even start with my own work. I did what I could in the next few hours and then headed off to the gym. After crushing the workout, I questioned what 30 days of intense exercise would do to my body and what I'd gotten myself into. But then I just headed home and finished up some of the self-education and headed to bed exhausted. Day three started a little bit slower. What felt really nice was that the morning walk and the stretching had all made me feel super good. The chlorophyll lamade was super tasty. On the third day, I had my first one with reading. I finished The Lords of Easy Money and I had a few thoughts about it. Everything is just so short term. They're just literally putting money into the pockets of the rich. They're trying to fix the financial system, fix the markets, fix the asset bubbles by printing all this money. And then what the wealthy and the rich are doing is they're just moving that money and creating problems in different areas and then the federal reserve has to print more money and then they just it just keeps on benefiting the people who have so much money so yeah after some life-altering realizations about money the global financial system i got through the rest of my meetings and my work and my tasks and then i headed for a run this was the first time i'd been running in a while so it took me a little bit to get into it but shortly after i was feeling super great after my run i had a bit of time before meeting up with another buddy and really that concluded my third day day seven and it's time to get the show on the road after what felt like an eternity i made it to day seven being a week in i was feeling more energized and slowly the morning routine was becoming a habit i started to enjoy it more and more and the chlorophyll drink kept growing on me and my reading was slowly starting to speed up i was about to finish my third book which was on sales and digital marketing i geared up for a quick run and finished it off with some self-education being a weekend i was starting to get into the groove of things i realized i wouldn't be able to get anything done unless i was focused in and had zero distractions everything is possible to be fit into one day but i just had to be focused and absolutely unwavering in my ability to take action on day 15 i woke up to a slightly foreign feeling my runs workouts reading and self-improvement had all made me feel really really good I was learning so much more about so many different things and one of the things being how the chlorophyll water that I was drinking every morning was actually speeding up my wound healing and it helped me beat my hunger until my fasting was up and it had so many other benefits like blood sugar regulating, weight loss, detoxification and much more. My reading became enjoyable and I flew through five books in 15 days. It looks like I'm going to finish Traffic Secrets and then I'm officially complete five books. I took my reading from over three hours to just under an hour and a half since my focus was getting better and better. Overall, everything was going great. The daily routine was helping me feel like I was on a roll and gaining momentum doing so. And the power of the compounding effect literally felt like the Kool-Aid man in my life. Oh, yeah! I did have some slower days where I felt like I needed to nap or take it easy, but the majority of the time I felt energized and productive, less anxious and just more present. And next up, I wanted to capture day 22. When I got to day 22, the last three weeks started to feel like a blur. It was during this third week where my body started to get really tired. 
all this exercise and reading has been kind of draining me a little bit mentally and physically. Today, for some reason, I just feel this renewed sense of energy. I had started struggling with the reading and the book that put up the challenge was A Hero with a Thousand Faces. The reading has also been quite a bit. It's been a struggle for some of the books like A, a Hero with a Thousand Faces. That was just the biggest struggle to get through that book. It actually felt like the biggest achievement to finish it just because it was such a tough read. I had to go out and buy some new books because I realized I didn't have that many left to go and that I would finish it before the 30 days was up. So I got some really awesome ones, one about Monsanto's food future, about the food industry. So that was a really cool one. And then I got some from a fighter pilot on making decisions. I got your next five moves for business strategy. I got scientific advertising. About a day ago, I had started reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. And it was almost as if this book was placed in perfect order for me to read it because it just motivated me and it changed my perspective on the way that I was feeling. So I just had a renewed sense of energy to continue on and push through the fourth week. Despite the soreness and general tiredness, I pushed through the workout and came out the other side victorious. Other than that, it was time to focus in and power through week four. Day 30 finally came and I was super ecstatic. I felt accomplished and just overall really happy. I headed on my morning walk and I started reminiscing on how much I actually accomplished in this last month. Being able to take a walk every morning and just prepare my body for the day felt so natural every morning. Plus with all the stretching, I had the least amount of pains or injuries and I did things I previously wasn't able to. I just did my first pistol squat, oh my God. The chlorophyll drink had some interesting properties and interesting effects to it, and I actually 100% believe that it helped heal my wounds quicker. The reading ended off with such a highlight after I completed the Bitcoin standard, which really opened my eyes and gave me a deeper understanding of money, Bitcoin, and the crypto space. I crushed the final workout on day 30, and it was time to look back on all that I accomplished in this last month. Now, as I was looking back on this routine on day 30, I thought to myself, I'm not even sure if this is Luke Belmar's actual routine, but it definitely works and it's definitely exactly what he preaches. So uh, I'm just gonna roll with it at this point. There's one thing that's for sure though. The compounding effect as Luke talks about it is absolutely real and it will happen with anything you do, good or bad. So I broke down the three pillars where I had the most progress this month, starting off with reading. When I originally started, I had read two books in the first five months of this year. By the end of this last month, I had crushed 11 books. That's a 450% increase in just one month, plus new data sets on finance and economics, marketing and sales and philosophy, all which have shaped the way that I think into a more realistic and understanding worldview. I bought a ton more books for the next month, which I'm now super stoked about. Secondly, my health and physique. I started off with a little bit of extra weight, but through daily exercise of cardio and CrossFit, I managed to scale it back to visible abs and noticeably more muscle. Not only that, but my cardio 10X and my endurance and physical strength increased exponentially. And lastly, my overall mindset and business. As I hopped into this routine, I noticed right away that I had less time than I was used to and I was a little frustrated at first. I didn't understand that there was still progress going on, but just on a different level. But as the weeks went by, I found myself adapting to the amount of work I was used to outputting and just putting in systems in place for me to achieve it in a faster time frame. This was through the use of specialized AI software and outsourcing my work. Secondly, in mindset, it shifted my mind into the power of the compound effect. Nothing truly changed my mind about it like these last 30 days did. I fully realized the crazy compounding effect that can literally happen in any skill set or habit in your life, and this mindset is just now undeniable to me. So to Luke, if you're watching this, thank you for sharing everything on YouTube and just creating awesome videos, and your selfless approach is really, really inspirational. For those that are interested in what Luke is up to, I'll share his channels down below and you can follow along as he builds the largest decentralized entrepreneurial network on planet Earth. And with that, I bid you with some parting wisdom.
the life that you have is a life that you chose. Exactly. I see a lot of people complaining, dude, but very few people taking 100%. action. Yeah. And Most people make excuses. Very few people make moves.